Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll go through the weather warnings and we'll have a look at the UK Met Office run looking at precipitation temperature over the next five days so you still do have a lot of wintry showers around especially further northwards and eastwards and a few overnight tonight further westwards as well with, uh, with more of a persistent band and then we'll also have some really low temperatures over this weekend as high pressure does topple and uh, the longer term we'll have a look at the GFS and the ensembles and it is looking like we're going to be going into a, quite a cold spell over the next couple of weeks it's not going to be cold the whole time there will be milder interludes but cold air to our north is never going to be too far away and it does look like especially the northern half of the United Kingdom is going to be pretty chilly over the next couple of weeks at least below average so remember, if you enjoyed my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So to start with the live radar, you can see we have a smackering of showers around at the moment. We had quite a few widespread showers across many central, eastern and northern areas, and even into the far southeast, we've seen some persistent showers, most of them falling of a wintry nature. Hail, growl, and sleet, um within many of these showers and even some saw some heavy snowfall as well we did see some heavy snowfall across the far southeast overnight last night as these weather fronts did collide in there bringing persistent showers um we did see a covering of snow over the highest mountains or, like, or highest hills 100 200 meters of elevation gain um we saw uh, quite a uh, quite a, a decent amount of snow on the ground a few centimeters but of course melted throughout the day as the sun gets to work but we've seen loads of showers so a lot of areas have seen um some heavy heavy downpours sunshine one minute and then heavy hail or snow the next minute and of course there have been a, a few sort of light coverings here or there but nothing too crazy now we do have more showers moving in from the north as we do have a little bit of a feature moving through giving more persistent wintriness and coming overnight perhaps we could be seeing some accumulations from this again mainly over higher ground um, in the north but you can rule out even over some moderate hills through the midlands parts of wales down in the far southwest as this does all sink southwards a few showers still around elsewhere but they are fading uh, as the sun does go down and we do lose that sort of convective spark now temperatures are going to fall away very quickly this evening we're going to be seeing widely temperatures below freezing you can see across the spine of the country already temperatures are below freezing around uh, or around freezing sort of zero minus one now and they can continue to fall over the coming hours getting down to maybe low as minus four minus five degrees in rural areas and if we also do have a look at uh, the past 24 hour snowfall just to see where we have seen those um, heavy snow rates and you can see mainly down the eastern side of the country um uh, with plenty of showers you can see a few areas seeing heavier amounts and you can see down that for, uh, in the far southeast through kent over the higher ground that's where we saw a few centimeters of settling snow elsewhere loads of showers and this doesn't do it justice most areas have seen some wintriness just not anything too uh, much in terms of accumulating but we've seen a lot of snow over europe you can see there's widespread Cent a few centimetres of snow over the Alps, and maybe 10, 20, 30 centimetres of snow with these weather fronts. Um, so a little bit unfortunate that the UK aren't, uh, isn't under these weather fronts, the low pressure is sitting over Europe, but we've seen plenty of showers um, and a lot of sunshine as well in this very cold northeasterly wind. So we do have a look at the weather warnings, um, as we do have a weather warning in force tomorrow for ice Far, across the far northeast, uh, parts of northeast Midlands, into the far uh, far northeast of England as well. See, snow and hail showers could lead to icy surfaces with possible travel disruption from midnight tonight till 10am tomorrow. So it's for those showers coming in, and because it's falling overnight with lower temperatures, it's more likely to settle um, and more likely to stick around, producing icy surfaces, black ice, uh, and even accu accumulating snow potentially. So that's why we have that warning in force. Again, perhaps one to three centimeters mainly above 200 meters uh, but even to low-lying areas there is uh, some maybe patchy accumulations as well yield covering to low levels um, but this is likely to be short-lived high likelihood lower end of the impact scale so if you're in the far northeast there is possibility you wake up tomorrow morning with a few centimeters of snow on the ground but by sort of 10 11 midday most of it will have melted with the strong spring sunshine 
So we do now have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at precipitation and temperature over the next uh, couple days. Now you can see precipitation moving through at the moment, you can see the majority of these showers now are down the far west, turning to snow and land over high ground, but nothing too crazy. And you can see a few showers in the far northeast, but nothing too crazy, so I'm a bit unsure why there's weather warning. Perhaps uh, the UK Met Office um, have uh, seen other models showing a bit more shower activity along the far northeast. But in another breakout of showers tomorrow morning, but with high pressure toppling, um, you can see those uh, showers do sort of fade away and are not as significant as today or even yesterday. Beyond that, you see clouds starting to spread in from the northwest. Still a very cold night Sunday, especially further south and eastwards. Clear skies um, and some sunshine through Sunday in the far south and the east, but weather fronts pushing in from the northwest with milder air. That's going to introduce some much milder air, but as we'll see within a minute, there is much colder air ready to plunge southwards by sort of the middle of next week. So it does look like it's going to be temporarily going milder in the south, but further northwards, it could remain fairly cold with heavy snowfall repeatedly over the highest ground. Um, and we could see that colder air plunge southwards once again. So if you do have a look at those 850 HPA temperatures, you can see by early hours of Sunday, really bitterly cold still in the far southeast. Minus 8 degrees at 850 HPA, but you can see well above freezing in the far northwest, 5, 6 degrees pushing in. And so all air is going warm, but you, or mild at least, and you can see that bitterly cold air is just to our north. Um, and as this low pressure exits, you can see we're starting to go back into a northerly wind. You have a look at the pressure charts, you can see pulling in that northerly wind once again. It's likely we're going to be going much colder widely again, um, especially further northwards, but perhaps in the south as well. All depends on the positioning of the jet stream, how far south the jet stream does shift. Because, as I say, it's going to be cold over the next couple of weeks. Not quite as cold as now in terms of the air masses, but it should uh, it's going to be probably uh, below average in terms of temperatures as well with precipitation and generally a north or northerly to northwesterly airflow. So we do have a look at the 2 metre temperatures, see what they're showing. See today widely sort of 5 to 8 degrees, still quite cold, feeling colder than that. And you can see widely tonight it's dropping below freezing. Minus two, minus three, or even below that in a few spots. Tomorrow afternoon, once again, another chilly day, five to nine degrees, but perhaps could feel a little bit milder than that, with less showers around. And then early hours of Sunday, wide's widely very cold once again, perhaps seeing temperatures minus three or four in the far south and the east. But that's because cloud is moving into the northwest, and you can see temperatures through Sunday afternoon, perhaps 10 or 11 degrees as possible. Uh, but overnight Monday, not dropping below freezing, staying above freezing. Um, and then Monday evening, once again, staying well above freezing. And Tuesday could be a decent day in the south, 13, 14 degrees, but across northern Scotland, around freezing with that cold air still clinging on. And through Wednesday, and perhaps 13, 14 degrees in the south, you can see much, much colder in the north as that northerly breeze starts to come back in. So we now have a look at what the GFS and the ensembles are showing over the next couple of weeks. You see the northeasterly airflow at the moment, and you see the high pressure toppling over uh, the UK through Sunday. And that uh, high pressure is going to give clearer skies, and it's going to allow very cold temperatures over the next few nights. But by Monday, we're into more of a northwesterly airflow with warmer air coming around the high pressure system. Before we see that jet stream drop southwards, you can see that black line is through sort of the Bay of Biscay down through central parts of France. And that's where the jet stream is, sort of the dividing line between the milder and the colder air. And you can see we are on the cold side of the jet stream, sort of diving lows to the south. This would be very, very cold and snowy in winter. But because we're in April now, those upper air temperatures are just a few degrees milder. And it's going to mean temperatures are going to be more around sort of 10 degrees, feeling chilly. And we continue in this sort of north to northwesterly airflow, and right towards the end of the run, we start to try and build high pressure, but continue seeing these lows sort of plunge south. It's a really bizarre and sort of um, weird pattern, uh, and it's caused, uh, and it's because of the sudden stratospheric warming, or, uh, or at least major warming we saw a couple of weeks ago, um, that has caused more of these blocking patterns. So we do run it back and have a look at the upper air temperatures. Now you can see minus uh, 10 degrees is close to us at the moment, minus 8, minus 9, widely. High pressure topples and we see that milder airflow come in. But you can see to the north that colder air is hanging on and you can see it continually gets brought in. We go to the minus 5 line for next weekend uh, with that milder air pushing to our south. And we continue to stay on the cold side of the jet with real warm air across parts of Spain, but really cold air feeding in off the North Sea. And we continue in that vein and in the longer term we start to pull in a little bit of our milder air mass. And perhaps right at the end of the run, going things, uh, turning things a little bit milder as that jet stream pushes northwards, but still looking quite likely uh, to be pretty chilly indeed. And again, if we just run through the temperature deviation, you can see most of the time we are in these blues over the next sort of week or so, um, especially further northwards, but not exclusively. 
in the south as well. You see at the moment we're well, well, well below average in terms of upper air temperatures. And something else we can also have a look at is the 850 HPA potential uh, temperature which gives us um, uh, another sort of view of the air masses, how cold they are, and you can see really cold at the moment. A bit of a milder air mass moving in for Sunday and Monday before we have real cold air just to our north, we start to pull in it again, especially in the north. We stay in these darker blues, symbolising very cold air, and you can see just to our south, in parts of central France, it's much, much milder. We're right on the cusp of milder air, but we are, on this latest GFS run, very firmly in that colder air mass. So we do now finish up, have a look at the ensembles over the next couple of weeks. You can see very cold over the next two or three days, rising well above average around the 4th or 5th of April, then returning to around or slightly below average, a bit of uncertainty with that, and that's because of the positioning of the jet stream and where low-pressure systems do develop. Um, so a bit uncertain there, but north will definitely be much colder. And you can see we continue on this vein, and you can see some of the runs going much, much milder around the 10th and 11th of April, and I'm assuming that is from a sort of a low-pressure system out in the Atlantic sort of stalling and um, pushing up some southerly winds. But you see the operation run, some of the other runs are going much colder. So a bit of uncertainty there. And you see the ensemble is actually a bit above average from around the 10th of April. But very much um, that is the ensembles and the operation runs. Uh, high resolution are looking more cold towards the next seven to ten days. So it's just something we need to keep an eye on. Perhaps ten days and beyond, maybe a bit milder for the first or for the middle third of April. Um, but this stage, you've just got to keep an eye on what's happening um, and, yeah, just see what, what, what we're going to be seeing through April. So we do have a look at the ECMWF ensembles. Have a look at what they're showing over the next couple of weeks. You see, again, very cold at the moment, burning much milder. They're returning to around average you can see much more towards average all the way to around the 10th 11th of april before trending a little bit above average but quite a few runs still chilly so definitely does look like it's going to be a generally colder than average next week or so yes there will be some mild temperatures especially in the south maybe 14 15 degrees as possible but further northwards it's going to be chilly it's going to be below average um, and we could see more wintriness not as widespread as the last couple of days but more interest is definitely possible in sort of the prone areas over the hills and mountains longer term towards the middle third of april does look like perhaps we could be turning a little bit milder but you can see with the precipitation signal it's very high so it's not going to be a high pressure warm spell it's more going to be warmer upper air temperatures not feeling that warm with a lot of precipitation and cloud around so the time being very cold over the next couple of days so make sure you stay safe out there because there will be some icy patches there will be a hard frost in the morning so yeah please do be vigilant so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon